I struggle to find the words for this introduction, so I'll let Chevrolet and the engineering team speak for themselves. This is the moment we've been waiting for. The all-new mid-engine 2020 Corvette Stingray is here. When reinventing this iconic automobile, the creators broke barriers with a Corvette so advanced that the world of sports cars may never be the same. It is nothing less than the democratization of the supercar. I've been waiting for a while for this car to arrive at the dealership as it was ordered in February. It's finally here, and here we go. What we are looking at is an LT1 Stingray Coupe painted in the $500 optional Rapid Blue with the jet black leather GT1 interior. Pricing is shown to the left. The C8 marks the first time that the Corvette is made into a mid-engine sports car, despite the 1986 Corvette Indy concept which carried the Corvette name, however never saw production. Interestingly, the mid-engine concept for the Corvette has been around since the 1970s, and the C4 was actually rumored to be the first mid-engine car. Our car shown here is pretty standard Corvette with a standard suspension setup and is not equipped with the Z51 performance package. It is equipped with the performance exhaust, however. Of course, as we all know by now, the C8 is mid-engine configured car with rear-wheel drive and power coming from a purpose-built 6.2-liter LT2 pushrod 16-valve V8 engine. This engine was specifically designed for the C8 for mid-engine applications and dry sump lubrication. The engine is of a aluminum block and head construction with variable valve timing and an 11.5 to 1 compression ratio. It creates 495 horsepower at 6,450 RPM, 470 pound-feet of torque at 5,150 RPM. The Corvette is a fast car, no doubt about it. It can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds with 0 to 100 miles per hour reach in 7.2 seconds. Quarter mile is in 11.2 seconds at 123 miles per hour, and top speed is limited to 195 miles per hour. The C8 is equipped with an 18.5 US gallon fuel tank and consumes 5.3 gallons per 100 miles driven with an estimated total driving range of 352 miles. EPA fuel economy figures are 15 miles per gallon city, 27 miles per gallon highway, and 19 miles per gallon combined. The sole available transmission is a Tremec built M1L 8-speed dual clutch automatic with manual shift capability via the steering wheel mounted paddles. This transmission features even odd separate gear shafts and computer controlled dual clutches on concentric shafts for extremely quick shifts. All right, and let's take a look at it from the rear. This car is so cool. I am so glad to be able to review this. I love this blue color. As you can see, the turn signals have a uh, sequential look to them. LEDs for the brake lights and tail lights. This car is equipped with the sport exhaust. We'll take a listen here. All right, and of course, being mid-engine, the engine is visible through the window. I love the, 
the large uh, rear fender flares really gives the car a presence. Along the profile of the C8, the car looks exotic with bits of Ferrari, Lamborghini, and McLaren sprinkled in. It features a 4060 weight distribution and sits on a 107.2 inch wheelbase with an overall length of 182.3 inches. Steering is extremely precise, magneto rheologically assisted, variable rate, vehicle speed sensitive rack and pinion with 2.4 turns lock to lock and a short 11.6 foot turning radius. Wheels are staggered bright silver painted 5 open spoke aluminums with 19 by 8.5 inch up front with 245, 35, 0, 19 tires and 20 by 11 inch wheels in the rear with 305, 30, 20 tires. The tires are Michelin Pilot Sport all seasons and brakes are four wheel ventilated discs with black painted four piston Brembo calipers. Up front brakes are 12.6 inch vented rotors and in the rear they are 13.3 inch vented rotors. They can bring the C8 from 60 miles per hour to zero in 114.9 feet or from 70 miles per hour to zero in 149 feet. All right, looking at the Corvette from the front, as you can see, it's a very aggressive design statement. Looks absolutely exotic, like an al amalgamation of McLaren, Ford GT, Lamborghini, and some Ferrari. As you can see here, the large side view mirrors do have signal repeaters. These headlights are incredible. They have these signal light pipes here and then you have a daytime rain light light pipe. High intensity LED headlamps. Down below you do have like your intakes for your radiator. Cut line from the front trunk has a Lamborghini-ish look to it. Overall, just an incredible front end styling. This thing is amazing. All right, and of course this vehicle does feature remote start, a standard equipment. It's very easy to use. Just lock the vehicle, and then double press. All right, and of course the Corvette also has keyless remote entry. You have your smart key access here. It's a new Corvette key fob. It's pretty similar to the new GM key fobs. However, it is Corvette specific with the uh, Corvette logo here. And of course your buttons are lock, unlock, remote start, your front trunk opening and your en engine release. And down here is your panic alarm. Underneath the black side blade, there is a membrane switch that allows us to open up. And check out this interior. This, this is a really cool place to be. Very compact, very sporty, very fighter jet cockpit-like. It's very driver oriented. Start off by looking at the door panels. You have a really nice leather vinyl feel to it. Contrast white stitching. Brushed aluminum trim. Power mirror controls. You've also got your automatic window controls. Here's the buttons here for your driver door release, your door opener basically. Power door lock buttons down here. Front trunk opener and the rear hatch opening. You've also got a small amount of storage here and some more of the accent stitching. Down here is a stainless steel Stingray tread plate. Down on the floorboards, you do have your sport pedals. Moving up, you have your rheostat dimmer for the instrument panel. Parking brake, or yeah, your electronic parking brake here. Air vents, leather wrap, tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Eight-way power driver and passenger seats. Speaking of the seats, let's take a look at these things. They look like they're lifted right out of a Ferrari. And these aren't even the sport seats, these are the standard seats. You have the Corvette logo embossed in here. You got your seatbelt guide here. Perforated inserts. Aggressive bolstering. screen. 
All right, let's paint through the interior and show more details. As you can see here, nice fluid electrically assisted power steering. It does have a very rectangular shaped steering wheel. Flat top, flat bottom, almost flat sides as well. It's a two spoke design. This is your 12 o'clock dead center marker here. You do have these paddle shifters, downshift here, upshift here, multifunction uh, uh, cruise control or multifunction controls on your on your uh, steering wheel. You have your cruise controls here, favorite buttons here, audio, speaker, volume, up and down, menu controls for your trip computer, Bluetooth and connections. And then you have the Z the Z button here. All right, as you can see here, a fully reconfigurable instrument panel. As you saw with the different drive modes, it does display different uh, gauge clusters. You've also got different uh, menus within your performance by using the toggle switches here. You've got your trip computers. Everything from current drive cycle all the way to fuel economy and trip A and trip B. Pretty standard features there. Performance, you got your zero to 60 timer, lap timer, and your lateral and horizontal G-forces, audio controls, your maintenance for transmission and oil, you've also got your engine life, how many times it's been to 10,000 RPM, or revs per 10,000, just different basic maintenance things, different options. And you can simplify the display. Basically just gives you your speedometer, your tachometer, and nothing else. All right. All right, let's move over to the top of the dash. Now this vehicle does not have a heads up display, but I actually like this styling cue here. I didn't even notice this until just now where the door panel actually kind of like follows up into the top of the instrument binnacle. Comes down to this large hooded area. It's all very soft, pliable, it feels like leather. You've got this white contrast stitching that's present on the doors and the seats. Overall, just the styling in here is absolutely incredible. Build quality, materials, everything. I love this canted, uh, infotainment center here very driver oriented very driver focused you do have your power and volume knobs here your home home screen it is a very responsive touch screen integrated climate controls we'll go over more of that too of course we've also got apple carplay android auto i don't believe this vehicle is equipped with navigation but with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you can use your phone's navigation. Down here, this little toggle switch is actually your air vent controller, which is a really nice feature. I love the buttons for the transmission selector, your drive mode selector here with this leather covered area. You have an aluminum knob back here, your traction control. Here is your cup holders. Not very passenger friendly, but that's okay. But they're right at hand for the driver, that's for sure. All right, and then we're gonna look at the center console. It does have an armrest. It opens up, it's driver oriented, so it opens towards the passenger. Nice felt lined area. You have an auxiliary input jack, USB port and USB type C and an SD card slot. And your waterfall has storage, center speaker and the Corvette Stingray logo. All right, now let's go down the center console area here. We have a row of buttons here as everybody is well aware. It's not the first time a Corvette's been reviewed, but we're gonna go over it in our area anyway. So we have our driver's side climate controls here. You can sync it, automatic. All your panel distributions, fan speed selector, whether or not you want the system on or off, AC control, recirculate, defroster, rear window defogger, just a blank area, and this is your passenger. All right, and overhead, we have an, a manually dimming frameless mirror. 
overhead LED reading lights, OnStar controls, four-way flashers, passenger airbag indicator switch, small sun visors, does feature illuminated vanity mirrors, and of course, the sun visors swing out and slide out. All right, and there are ways to open the luggage areas. Just take a look. Of course, as I showed before, you can open your front trunk here and your rear hatch here. That also has a luggage area. Or you can double press the key fob. Very lightweight panel there. And this is our front luggage area. As you can see, it's small, but it's pretty deep. You could probably put an overnight bag in here. It does have tie-down hooks in here. We've got four of them. It is also illuminated by LEDs. You've also got a 12-volt power point and an electronic escape. Inside here, also, you have access points for your windshield washer reser reservoir, as well as uh, um, your brake fluid. All right, and if we wanna look at the rear luggage area. Nice large panel here. This is also where you'd put your top as well. These are your top anchoring points in here. But as you can see, it too is a pretty nice and deep area. and does have a soft close mechanism. All right, and this does conclude our in-depth walk around look at the all new 2020 Chevrolet C8 Corvette. If you like this review and would like to see more like it, please comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash neighborhood car reviews and Instagram at brinsoj1. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.